Sixers, hello, welcome back to number six with cheese. Corey and Sean coming at you with another Chicago local spot. This is Ganbi Asian Fusion for the Nomad Burger. Very excited to get into this. Uh, let's head over there to Lincoln Park area, snag a couple of them, and then put the camera Did back out. over there? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can uh, fill in your own intro. We're gonna drive now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Food review fan. <laughs> All right, food review fans. Wow, keep that in. Uh, a couple of Nomad burgers have been acquired. Jump cut. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. This is the burger. Comes with fries. That's a kind of a nice looking bun. Yeah. Um, we've got a half pound. Well, first I'll start with the pulled pork. They got pulled pork on top of it. They've also got a caramelized onion, I believe that we're seeing there. And then it's a half pound black Angus beef. And then there's arugula that's on the bottom and some sort of special sauce that we're seeing there. And um, yeah, that's about all she wrote for the burger. And then we got the big camera. Let's use it. There's that angle. Just a bunch of sloppy pork all over a burger. This also like very much um, smells like it's got that Asian fusion smell. Like Asian sauces have that very distinct. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Soy sauce it. and sweetness. Okay, Nomad Burger. Ganby, probably saying oh, it. Also, yeah. Urban Nomad Burger. Urban Nomad. I saw it on the menu after, mm. so I messed up on the first one. And I'm sure I'm saying the name of the restaurant wrong. Yeah. Ganby. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Whoa. This is very delicious. Wow. I have this new thing mm -hmm. where I expect fatter burgers to be more gross. Right. I'm on like such a smash burger craze, but mm -hmm. so I had low expectations, but mm -hmm. this is amazing. We asked for it medium. It's perfectly medium. Mm. Still some pink in there, which I love. Oh my god. It's very good. This is a very unique burger. Yeah. Good sweetness from the sauce. And then the beef is thick, but like still somewhat tender. And then the, the pork is very nice on top. There's a lot of different like textures going on here. And then you got the peppery arugula. That looks to be a little like cooked up from all the heat in the burger. I'm very impressed. Look at I've been loving like these, now this is a little bit less simple. I've been loving simpler burgers. Yeah. A little less simple because of the added um, pulled pork. Yeah. But like just a good burger, good onions and a sauce has been like I know. my new thing. I agree with that. For Lincoln Park too, <laughs> do with this information what you will. The burger and fries was 14 bucks which we've said it many times on the show, you can get just a burger for $14. So it's at least nice to give you like 22 fries. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of in a ketchup mood right now, guys. I know I'm not normally a big ketchup fry guy, but right now it sounds good. These flavor juices. <laughs> the FJs? Yeah, dude, they're coming through. Yeah. Heavy and hard. So I think I you told me this off camera. This place was like on a list of like good burgers or best places. What was the list you saw? Well be less. Okay. As per usual. Mm -hmm. They said to get their fries. Okay. They got loaded kimchi fries mm -hmm. that were on this list. Okay. But I'm just such a burger dude. Yeah, I'm glad we got this. I saw they had a mm, 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 mm. fried chicken thigh sandwich too. Really? Yeah. You know I love those fried chicken thighs. No. Guys, I can't tell you how impressed I am. Me too. This is really good. There are few things to me that are better on a burger than caramelized onions. Right. I enjoy it way more than I want to tell you because it's embarrassing. But I sometimes sit in my office which is just like a little offshoot of my tiny apartment, and I think about them, because <laughs> I love caramelized onions. I gotta let you know, there's way more embarrassing things about your life than your love of caramelized <laughs> onions. That's a very good point. I'm gonna go ahead and go, these fries are kinda long. I'm not even gonna break them. I'm gonna have it shooting out of both sides, so each bite's gonna get a lot of fry. There you go. This burger is perfectly cooked. I know. That maybe I just don't like the thicker burgers because people aren't cooking them right. This is so perfectly done. I think people get scared because they're thicker, you gotta cook them way longer, and the outside starts to char too much if you're not a very good cook. So then you take them off, and it's either pink on the ends, like too pink, and then burnt on the outside. You gotta cook them the right way. And a place like that clearly knows what they're doing, so that's really nice. I'd say this is definitely my top five favorite non-smash burgers in the city. Okay. I can definitely see that. This might be my favorite, like, thick burger. Because that's I, what I was trying to, yeah. You're right, I normally like smash burgers, that's like all I really go for. Or at least, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think this might be my favorite 
just big old thick patty boy. I, man, that is definitely true for me. Mm-hmm. And um, if you don't know about Hatter Sixer Sauce, it pairs really well with like an Asian fusion, like that flavor mm -hmm. profile, because it's sweet and hot. Yeah, my fat ass watching me eat that, thinking I'm pissed off that I slammed my burger so fast I didn't get a chance to sauce it up. Mm-hmm. Dumb decision on my fat brain's part. Woo! That, like, you know, sometimes the burger can kind of hold a puddle of the sauce. Yeah. It's kind of elusive. And all of a sudden you take a bite. I think I just basically took a shot of hot sauce. Hit uh -oh. the spot. Finally grew my first chest hair. The second time in as many videos? Is that your new catchphrase? Did I say that before? I think the last time we did hot sauce videos. So they haven't heard it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it probably hasn't come out, but now I'm gonna have to hear it. Not only is this the second <laughs> time I've heard it, but that generally means once he starts repeating jokes, that means that ain't stopping. <laughs> I'm like a pull string doll with only mm -hmm. six phrases. I'm trying to get ahead of it by ridiculing it out of him right now. That's the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. I am so blown away by what just happened. I have never eaten a burger faster. <laughs> it was really, it was, I did not expect to house that whole thing like that. Yeah, especially for how big it is, to fly through something that beastly. Yeah. Now, that's the type of place that cooked that so well. Like you were saying, the fries are obviously like highly rated by people. I am very intrigued by the rest of that menu. Uh, some of the other popular items Corey was telling me about, I kind of looked and them by up. by the way, before you say this, mm -hmm. the burger, when I, at least on the ordering site that I was on, the burger wasn't even on the popular order. Oh, list. okay. So this wasn't even one of the popular ones. This is just the one that struck our fancy. Yeah. So these other items that Sean's about to name mm -hmm. are apparently, I would assume, even better. Yeah. There was ribs on there. The, the ribs, I very, saw that. Very, very good. Yeah, because it was the front. The photos that I saw were the fries, the burger. Popcorn chicken Popcorn was a chicken, popular item. yep, absolutely. Because Asian sauces are just so good. Oh, so, yeah. And, and Asian, like the way Asian cuisine, we've said this before, cooks chicken, might be the best in the game. It might be. And they have some of the best sauces, so like, it's a facto. Get the popcorn chicken, probably. Oh my God. Well, that was GD delightful. Yeah. All these people who like watch our videos and are like, I'm, I'm like fasting. Yeah, you guys yeah. are in for a problem after You're this screwed. one, dude. Just watch us feast like it's Thanksgiving, dude. You're screwed. Which I would much prefer that on Thanksgiving than turkey. Yeah, we got, uh, we got our holidays wrong. It's all these traditions that people just like won't let go. I think by the, literally by the definition of tradition <laughs> means you're not going to let it go. Though. That's a good point. That's kind yeah. of, isn't that what a tradition is? Something that you don't let go of? Uh, traditions are meant to be broken in that instance. And a lot of other, the way certain people are treated and then also just turkey. All right, well guys, don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Um, what can we have them comment today? I've been liking how we've been doing this. It's a good little, little comment for okay. the Wednesday. I got a question for them. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as to what their favorite Asian uh, sauce mm. vehicle is okay. So like me, I'm probably gonna have to go. Which by the way, I don't usually have that with burgers, which is pretty incredible. Right. But I'm gonna have to go with like crisp, like the me chicken too. wings, the full wing. Mm -hmm. I agree. And so like you know, obviously there's the regular ones like General Sows and blah blah blah. You can do like the traditional dishes. Right. They have it on loaded fries. We've had that in the past. Um, those little like wow bow sandwiches. Yeah, those are great. The bows. Yeah. So whatever your guys' favorite uh, vehicle for Asian Asian flavoring is to get it into your gullet. Mm -hmm. I've also been doing homemade fried rice. Oh. And then I so put good. I'll use a different Asian sauce as the kind of like stir fry mixture, so the whole thing kind of gets mm. that flavor, and that's been fun. Oh, I love fried rice, dude. It's so easy to make. Like it's one of those things. Like once you learn how to do it, you're like, oh, I could have been doing this for many years. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of my go tos now. All right, well, before we go ahead and rate that burger here today on the show, let's do a shout out. PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out, PayPal shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got this awesome little PayPal donation button on our YouTube homepage. There's also a link below in the description. It's a great way for people who want to donate to the channel. That's the, how we keep this show going. We don't make much from the uh, Google AdSense. It's all from our fans, people like you guys supporting us, whether through our merch, our PayPal, or our Patreon. Yeah. If you don't want to commit to the monthly merch, uh, then PayPal is the best way to go. So check out the little icon on our YouTube page or the description below. We'll be giving shout outs to anybody who donates to our PayPal. Uh, we've got one person to shout out today. Today's PayPal shout out goes to Katie Harper. Love Katie. I uh, met her at the Chicago Tribune. Uh, Red Eye, we used to work together. And then I've just really kept in touch. She's a huge fan of Number Six of Cheese. She donated $30. 30 bucks. 30 bones, dude. Absolute legend. Uh, she put a nice little like suggestion in there too of just like if we're looking for a place. So like that was really sweet of her. So Katie, seriously, thank you so much for following the show and continuing to like 
you know, just keep in touch online. I, I'm so impressed by you as a human and your support for Number Six with Cheese is incredible. So be like Katie, donate on PayPal. I probably won't love you as much as her, but you can try, dude. You can certainly try. I've never met her, so I'll like them both e equally. There you go. See? Until I meet her. <laughs> then it's, <laughs> then it's over. over. <laughs> All right, time to rate it, man. The Urban Nomad Burger uh, out of five, how about just a whole hog, dude? Oh, hold, yeah. hold pork. <laughs> Damn it. Even uh, though most of that was cow, but that's fine. I'll overlook that. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, you can see where my loyalties <laughs> you know lie. What? It's in pigs and the swine. Because <laughs> right. I am one, dude. I am what I eat. Uh, out of five whole hogs, how many whole hogs do you give the Urban Nomad Burger from Ganby Asian Fusion? Probably saying it wrong, Corey. Uh, I mean, I, you guys can tell by all the moaning and noises that I made, but mm. I cannot hype that up enough. Especially if you're in the mood for a big fat burger. I completely agree with Sean that that is my favorite like thick burger in the city. I don't know what that guy did that he cooked it so freaking perfectly, but he really nailed it. Yeah. And then that special sauce, I think there was a few juices mixing. I think it was the uh, onions, mm -hmm. the special sauce, the meat was juicy, the, yeah, the cow, and was. then the pork had like a juiciness to it too. Obviously yeah. it's like pulled pork. So I think all that combination just fit together. Like I'm telling you guys, it was perfect. It was so delicious. I have to give that a five. That's amazing. Yeah. I think at, I, I second all of that. The thing that I'm really impressed by too is that with all those like juices and all that moistness, there wasn't a sloppy burger. They put really like um, tender pulled pork with a sauce on a burger with other stuff that very, that could have been a sloppy mess. It was so easy to eat, but the flavor was still there. We were joking, we took photos of it. Like, it was like a brick. It didn't move, but then it was tender. It defied science. Dude, I gotta do it too. I'd be lying if I didn't. That's a five Look out of that. five. I am so impressed. That is the best fat burger in the city that I've had. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know if there's any more in the city, if you guys know them. And we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Uh, another local Chicago spot, just like we normally do on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So come on back. Thanks for supporting the show. Hit the PayPal if you love the show a lot. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.